Good evening, everyone, and welcome. Please stand and join Emily Dirks as she leads us in singing our national anthem. Emily is graduating with a bachelor's degree in musical education and voice performance, having performed in multiple opera roles at OU, including Lizzie in Box Coffee Cantata. Emily was a finalist in the Texoma Nats competition and earned second place in the OU Young Artist competition. She plans to continue singing in a variety of styles. Emily is very versatile after graduation and to teach music to the next generation. Emily is from Dallas, Texas. She will be accompanied by members of the University of Oklahoma Refraction Woodwind Quintet who are con contributing their considerable talents to our ceremony this evening. Emily. Thanks very much, Emily, and the University of Oklahoma Refraction Woodwind Quintet, composed of Addie Yoon, Jackson Gordon, Xavier Williams, Izzy Garcia, and Seth Roberts. Many thanks to all of you. Ladies and gentlemen, faculty, families, friends, and most especially, our graduates. As Dean of the Weizenhofer Family College of Fine Arts, it's my pleasure to welcome you to one of the two most exciting days of the year in the Weizenhofer Family College of Fine Arts, our December convocation. I can't think of a more inspiring and exciting way to complete the semester and begin the holiday season. We are here to celebrate and pay tribute to our graduates, their talent, devotion, dreams, and goals their creativity and their ability to bring beauty to our world through the arts in a brilliant array of guises. They have done this, as you know, through some immensely difficult months over the past few years. And despite many challenges, they have not only survived, they have prevailed. For our undergraduates, their first year was unlike the first year student experience of any previous generation as they worked to become accustomed to the artistic and academic rigors of the university during a global pandemic. But prevail they did, and against so many odds. It has therefore been our honor and pleasure to work with them during this time of trial and error, unusual creativity, and perseverance. It is also, therefore, an even greater pleasure to celebrate their graduation with them tonight. We have been delighted to plan this convocation for our graduates and their guests. 
I would like to thank our Dean's Office staff very much for their planning and participation in your convocation, with special thanks to Patrick Stauffer, who has led the planning for this December Fine Arts Convocation for the very first time. Many thanks for the efforts of all our staff members here tonight. I now have the pleasure of introducing my colleagues and special guests who join us in this celebration by asking them to stand. Max Weizenhofer. Max is a graduate of the College of Fine Arts Helmerich School of Drama, a past member of the Board of Regents, and a highly acclaimed Tony Award-winning independent producer of New York and London theater productions, which have won numerous awards. Max is a staunch supporter of OU Athletics, as well as Fine Arts, the Fred Jones Jr. Museum of Art, and Fine Arts programs in the college that bears his name. We are extremely proud to have Max as a visiting professor and artistic consultant in the College of Fine Arts. He was also the chair of our 2023 Arts Arts Arts. Over the years, that gala has raised funds in excess of one and a half million dollars for fine arts student and faculty travel and special projects. Many thanks, Max, for your continued leadership and support. Chip Oppenheim is managing partner of the Oppenheim Group, a retail, commercial, and estate management and investments company located in Oklahoma City. Having lived for 12 years in Washington, D.C., and returning in 1994 to manage his family business in Oklahoma City. While in Washington, Chip was director of community relations and communications for a regional financial institution. Since moving back to Oklahoma, Chip has certainly wasted no time. He has been actively involved in the community, including serving as president of the Southwest 29th Street Business Improvement District Association, a board member trustee at Creative Oklahoma, president of Dance Partners at the University of Oklahoma School of Dance, president of the College of Fine Arts Board of Visitors, past president of Ballet Oklahoma, past president of Oklahoma Arts Institute at Quartz Mountain, and past president of the Oklahoma Foundation for Excellence. He is a graduate of Leadership Oklahoma and the University of Texas. We forgave him for that a few years ago. <laughs> In 2024, Chip will be the honorary chair of Arts 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 next March. Thank you so much, Chip. The associate deans and directors of the College of Fine Arts and their colleagues are exceptional leaders of our five schools and programs, ensuring that our students have access to the very best artistic and educational opportunities during their time with us. With us tonight are Brian Britt, associate dean and director of athletic bands, Stan Renard, Associate Dean and Coordinator of our Arts Management and Entrepreneurship Programs. <laughs> Allison Fields, Associate Director of the OU School of Visual Arts. <laughs> Michael Bearden, Director of the School of Dance. And in her first appearance at a College of Fine Arts Convocation, Professor Ting Shou, director of the Peggy Dalhelmerich School of Drama. <laughs> Dr. Jonathan Nickel is director of the School of Music. <laughs> and we also welcome Mandy Duran, professor of vocal music at the A. Max Weisenhofer School of Musical Theater. And Dr. Marvin Lamb, Professor of Music Composition, former Dean of the Weizenhofer Family College of Fine Arts, who has announced his retirement at the end of this year. Dr. Lamb is an internationally recognized composer, educator, and artistic and art administrator. We are honored that Dr. Lamb has consented to, to announce our graduates' names for this ceremony. Dr. Lamb, Marvin, thank you.
many, many thanks to our directors, colleagues, and associate deans for all they contribute to the college and to our students and our, the University of Oklahoma. As devoted, disciplined, and tenacious as our students are, we realize without a doubt that no student succeeds alone, that their success is the result of collaborative efforts, and the support they receive from others is truly invaluable. We would like to recognize their collaborators and supporters. All parents of our graduates, please stand and let us thank you for all you have meant to our student success. Other friends and family members obviously provide essential encouragement, affection, devotion, maybe an occasional nudge. We would like to thank you as well. Friends and relatives who have supported our graduates, please stand and let us thank you. The faculty of the Weizenhofer Family College of Fine Arts are distinguished artists, artists, researchers, writers, teachers, designers, technicians, choreographers, scholars, historians, and performers. They serve by example as role models for our students. Their dedication is endless and it's inspiring. And it is they who share their expertise and experience along with the beauty, excellence, and rigorous nature of the arts with our students. I am most honored to be their colleague and employee, and our students take with them the immeasurable benefit of their generosity, grace, and mentorship of our excellent faculty. Will the faculty of the Weizenhofer Family College of Fine Arts please stand? This celebration is most certainly about sharing, but it's most especially about our students and their accomplishments. It is above all about our very soon-to-be graduates. And having cherished the pleasure of observing them during their time in our college, it is my great honor to present them to you. The class of 2023, please stand and let us recognize you for the first but not the last time this evening. Graduates. The directors or representatives of the five schools in the College of Fine Arts will now give their words of encouragement, advice, insight, and humor to our graduates. Colleagues, please greet our graduates, beginning with the OU School of Visual Arts Associate Director, Dr. Allison Fields. Good evening. The very first thing I want to do is add my congratulations to the class of 2023. This achievement is one that, regardless of anything else that follows, can never be taken away or diminished. Your degree follows endless hours of deep thinking, reading, writing, creating, rehearsing, and critical engagement with your classmates and community. It is yours for life, and that is something to be celebrated. I'd also like to recognize you for your obviously wise choice in degree selection. For both undergraduate and graduate students, you have chosen an academic focus that instills the creativity, depth, and agility that are so necessary to your future pursuits. I want to also acknowledge the parents, grandparents, sisters, brothers, children, and friends who played roles in supporting this year's graduates. Academic study is an all-consuming endeavor and cannot be fully pursued without the understanding and support of your loved ones. This can make all of the difference in achieving your goals. To offer the briefest words of advice, I encourage you to remain receptive to the many possibilities that could lie ahead. It is unlikely that the future will line up in the exact manner that you intend, but if you face the future with openness and flexibility and find inventive ways to use the skills you do have, you will be surprised by the opportunities that unfold. 
You have already made a good choice committing to your degree. Keep making good choices, be patient, and do not be afraid to follow the opportunities that arise. Our graduates have such an important role to play as makers, designers, and critical thinkers in addressing the challenges in our community and world. Artists can help visualize problems and can find creative solutions that others cannot. Whatever path you take, there are bound to be challenges even when you tried your absolute hardest. In these moments, having a support system makes all the difference. To quote one of my 10-year-old son's favorite songs by Weezer, take a look at where you started from and where you are today. You climbed mountains, swam oceans, you got knocked down and kept going. In the end, you know you gotta say a little bit of love goes a pretty long way. Thank you and congratulations again. School of Dance Director Michael Bearden. Good evening, class of 2023. Uh, graduates, I want to congratulate you on the journey that you've completed um, here at the University of Oklahoma. I hope you draw upon your experiences here at OU for the rest of your lives, both professionally and personally. Uh, as humans, uh, one of our most unique identifying qualities are our fingerprints. Uh, not even identical twins share the same fingerprints. Even more interesting is how we get our fingerprints. Uh, while in the womb, a baby's finger, whatever a baby's finger touches or hand, is what develops um, our fingerprints. So, in essence, whatever we touch and come in contact with is what identifies us. Tonight, you leave here with more fingerprints. Those that have developed by the impact of others that they have made on you, and also what you have given them. You will always be a part of OU, and your experience is here will always be a part of who you are. Uh, let us also take a moment to recognize those who have helped us achieve our dreams and goals. As a parent, I start every morning waking my 12-year-old daughter, Charlotte, and telling her, time to get up for school. I know all of us have those people in our lives who have mo motivated us and believed in us before we learn to believe in ourselves. Many of these people are here tonight, so let's hear it for those who uh, who've been there for us, and also those uh, who are not able to be here tonight. Let's, hear, let's give one more round of applause. <laughs> uh, famed basketball coach at UCLA, Coach John Wooden, led his team to 10 national titles in an 11-year period, a record of su success that we may never see again in college sports. He preached to his students to focus on their work, and the process and not get caught up in outcomes or results. As artists, you understand this concept very well. While you are entering a world that is driven by results as a measure of success, I encourage you to stay true to the process and detail of your work with discipline and creativity and let the outcomes take care of themselves. I'll leave you tonight with a few quotes uh, from Coach John Wooden that I found uh, very motivational and inspirational. He writes, <clears throat> things turn out best for people who make the best of the way things turn out. He also says, has said, be more concerned with your character than with your reputation. Your character is what you really are, while your reputation is merely what others think of you. He also said, failure is not fatal but failure to change might be. Two more. It's the little details that are vital. Little things make big things happen. And the last one is, it's not what you learn, uh, sorry, it's what you learn after you know, know it all that counts. So this idea of continually learning. Graduating artists of 2023, you are ready to go and make a difference in our world at a time when it is needed more than ever. Congratulations, and may your journey be filled with great joy in your work and relationships. Thank you.
Thanks, Michael. I'm Professor Ching Chao, School of Drama. See, Michael is much smarter and print out a big font. So, <laughs> to take for my glasses. Well, you know, I've been in higher education for almost 35 years. And it uh, doesn't matter how long I've been in this uh, field, graduation has always been the bittersweet moment for me. On one hand, I'm beyond excited to see, you know, our students who are here today and uh, how far you can go and what you can achieve through hard work and determination. And uh, on the other hand, I'm very sad to see you go. Just like a parent, to see your child leaving home for the first time is uh, always a bittersweet moment. Since I just graduated with my child last year, I completely understand how you feel as a parent. Uh, even this is the first time I experience convocation at OU and uh, also my time spent with the students who are graduating today is very limited. But my hopes and wishes are not any less. You are armed with a rich history of a college of fine arts. We all know next year we're celebrating the centennial. And uh, also, you all experienced the really rigorous curriculum. And you had this one of a kind educational experience and also the exemplary worker ethics. So I'm confident that you're well prepared not just to survive, but to thrive. I will share some pearls of wisdom for your departure. I want to see you facing challenges bravely, taking in success humbly, keeping a positive state of mind, taking failure as a starting point for triumph. But most importantly, show more kindness and less judgment. Congratulations, graduates. And the faculty in the College of Arts cannot wait to see you soar. Spread your wings, the future is yours. Thank you. And Dr. Jonathan Nichol, director of the School of Music. I'd like to talk about sports media bias against Big 12 or uh, University of Oklahoma football, especially this season. <laughs> of course not. Congratulations on earning a degree from the University of Oklahoma Weizenhofer Family College of Fine Arts. We are extremely proud of you and your outstanding accomplishments. During your time at OU, you have formed lifelong friendships, celebrated achievements, and learned the skills necessary to have exceptional careers as artists. Further, resilience, motivation, and the drive to constantly improve set a group of brilliant people like you apart. From the moment you began your journey at OU in our college, you were a researcher, creator, and performer. Few programs at OU can say that about their students from day one. Moreover, art students are leaders on our campus, enriching the community of scholars within our schools, the college, and the university. You are prepared to positively impact society and really enrich the human experience. I always like to take a moment and reflect upon our favorite performances, our artistic achievements during our studies. Uh, I encourage you to do the same right now. These memories will live with you forever. What we create is truly part of us. Our artistic work becomes the core of our identity. We each set guiding principles to shape our lives and careers, and these are a few of mine. Once you commit to being a professional artist, I don't think you ever get a day off. Every day we plan, we think about, or we create. We are lucky that we get to live our vocation. Your job is to be the best version of yourself every day. And creating is just a part of your professional work. Excel at corresponding, promoting, and seeking out opportunities. Our actions define our core values. Listen to new things and learn about them. Stay inquisitive. Now I've got one that's really important for musicians specifically. The key to happiness in life, are you ready, is using a tuner and a metronome. 
Yes. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. In everything that you do, ask yourself, what am I doing and why am I doing it? If you are unable to answer those questions, recalibrate and reset your goals. Be honest with yourself about what you do well and what you need to uh, improve. Set achievable goals and remember that Rome wasn't built in a day. Excellence is created by thousands of small decisions. Find collaborators for work and for fun. And remember why you chose this path. In conclusion, I'd like to share with you two of my favorite Duke Ellington quotes. And he said, there are two kinds of music, good music and the other kind. And if it sounds good and feels good, then it is good. So let's create good art. And music, of course, is what I hear and something that I more or less live by. It's not an occupation or a profession, it's a compulsion. I truly hope you stay compelled to challenge norms, innovate, and collaborate using your collective voice for good. The University of Oklahoma is grateful for the trust you placed in us for your education, and I wish you the best for a remarkable and fulfilling career. Thank you. and Professor Mandy Duran, representing the Weizenhofer School of Musical Theater. Well, I don't know if there are enough words left um, being the finale act here, um, but uh, next time maybe I'll put it in show tune format. Um, just kidding. Uh, congratulations to the fine arts graduates of the University of Oklahoma. On behalf of the Weizenhofer School of Musical Theater, I want to not only congratulate you on this milestone accomplishment, but welcome you to the newest group of University of Oklahoma alumni. <laughs> Look around at your classmates, friends, teachers, and fellow creators. What a wonderful time in your life to focus on your talents and abilities, to grow in your craft and collaborate with each other and how lucky we all are that you chose to share your gifts with us. Tonight is about recognizing your hard work and dedication. The future that you've planned for and dreamed about is at hand. But whatever you find yourself doing next, make sure to take some time off and revel in your accomplishment. Remember why you got into the fine arts in the first place and rediscover the joy it brings to you and those around you. May you always find the joy in creating. After leaving here tonight, after celebrating with your successes with family and friends, hit the scene like the talented expert you are. The Weizenhofer Family College of Fine Arts at the University of Oklahoma is invested in you. Stay in touch. <laughs> Thanks so much, colleagues. Um, eight years ago, the first time I did this, I was terrified. I'm still a little terrified, but not as terrified as I was eight years ago. And I thought, okay, I need some help. I need some support up there. What can I do? And then I thought, I will invite my colleagues to participate. And I think it's one of the best decisions I ever made, whether it was out of fear or a terror or not. I appreciate all of you so much and thank you for being here tonight and sharing your thoughts with all of us and especially with our graduates. At the time of my graduation ceremony, which was admittedly quite a few decades ago, in what is now the Gaylord Family Memorial Stadium, the art of streaking was very popular. <laughs> I honestly do not remember a word anyone said at that ceremony, <laughs> but I do obviously remember the streaker on a bicycle <laughs> circling the football field. The, it was August, the Oklahoma heat was penetrating our caps and gowns, but I do remember how I felt, an overwhelming excitement and sense of anticipation Believing that our graduates may be feeling some of that overwhelming excitement and anticipation, I'd like to point out that this class of graduates is special for a reason they may not have guessed. They are the last class of the College of Fine Arts to graduate in our first century as a college. In 2024, the Weizenhofer Family College of Fine Arts will celebrate its centennial. For the last 100 years, graduates of our college have sat where you are sitting, 
very probably feeling much of what you are feeling, although under circumstances so different, they are difficult to imagine. We as a college are in a place today similar to that of our graduates, looking back on all that has been and looking forward to all we hope will be. Of course, we have hopes for the future, but it's impossible to know what it will bring, just as each of our graduates have their own personal hopes and dreams. I agree with Mandy. Their path may be surprising, and it may be exceptional and sometimes challenging. You're about to be a freshman again, okay? But you survived it once. <laughs> but it is your path, and it's unique from all others. The opportunities that come your way may be beyond your control, but what you do with them is completely up to you. I suggest that you remember how you feel at this very moment. No streaker in sight. <laughs> Take a moment to indulge in and memorize your feelings at the time of your graduation. Your excitement, feelings of accomplishment and optimism, and the certainty that the future is yours because it is. Take those feelings with you and let them give you strength in the future on a path that will no doubt be difficult and uncertain at times. You are adventurers and explorers in the arts with a sense of commitment and daring unmatched by many. I believe you may also be gifted at debate because you have convinced your parents that a degree in the fine arts is your most important goal. You have accomplished that goal. We celebrate it tonight and you will accomplish many more. We hope you will share them with us always because we are honored to have been a part of your life for these past few years. We hope you will be part of the future of the college as proud alumni. And we send you out into the world as graduates of the Weizenhofer Family College of Fine Arts. As we present our graduates, we would like to thank the OU School of Visual Arts. Each graduate tonight will receive a beautiful limited edition serigraph. The serograph was created by Wesley Kramer. So many thanks to the visual arts, our talented student artist and his instructor and mentor, Marwin Begay. Professor Robert Bailey, assistant director of the OU School of Visual Arts will present the serographs to our graduates this evening. And now graduates, please stand and follow your marshal to the stage where Dr. Marvin Lamb will announce your name. Here we go. Ginger Miller, Bachelor of Musical Arts, with special distinction. Yay. Alex Hunter Irwin, Bachelor of Music, with special distinction. Madison Dallas Hoyt, Bachelor of Music Education, with distinction. Kelsey Campbell, Bachelor of Music Education. Kendall Elise Newman, Bachelor of Music Education with special distinction. Emily Dirks, Bachelor of Music and Bachelor of Music Education with special distinction.
Jose Antonio Gonzalez Marin, Bachelor of Fine Arts in Drama with Special Distinction. Christopher Q. Roche, Bachelor of Fine Arts in Drama. Cameron Alexandra Hamlin, Bachelor of Fine Arts in Drama. Ore Osehi, Bachelor of Fine Arts in Drama with Distinction. Anwen Winger, Bachelor of Fine Arts in Drama with Distinction. Daniel Pintor, Bachelor of Fine Arts in Art. Karina Brown, Bachelor of Arts in Art with Distinction. Audrey Sophia Fishbeck Flanagan, Bachelor of Fine Arts in Art with Distinction. Jeremy Tingle, Master of Arts. Andrew Smith, Master of Music and Master of Music. Sayamio Iboing. Bachelor of Fine Arts in Visual Communication. <laughs> Amelia Catherine Key, Master of Fine Arts in Art. <laughs> Amy Lynn Herbo, Master of Music Education. Heather Tiffany Bellows, Master of Music Education. <laughs> Katie Ostrowski, Doctor of Philosophy. Philosophy. One more hand for our graduates as a group. Tonight we celebrate the excellence of the arts personified by these graduates of the University of Oklahoma Weizenhofer Family College of Fine Arts. We also celebrate the future of the arts in our society. 
which we now place in your very capable hands, knowing that it is bright with your creativity, perseverance, and leadership. You are our next generation of articulate advocates for the arts in our society. Your presence is clearly crucial at this time. The arts have the power to bring beauty to our world by uniting, uniting cultures through the expression of the human spirit. We celebrate you and your personal sense of excellence in all you have accomplished and will accomplish in the future. You have created your career as a student of the fine arts at the University of Oklahoma, and now we are proud to encourage you as you participate in creating the future of the fine arts in our society. That future begins today with your commencement. Through the arts, you truly can change the world. Congratulations to our newest colleagues and alumni Congratulations to the December 2023 graduates of the Weizenhofer Family College of Fine Arts. Graduates, please stand and move your tassel from the right side of your mortarboard to the left. Now, for the first time as alumni, please join us in singing the OU Chant, led by Kendall Newman, a very recent graduate of the School of Music, majoring in vocal music education. Kendall is from Flower Mound, Texas. Last year, Kendall was the director of the Crimson Chords OU student-led a cappella group. She has been a youth intern at McFarland Church, and after graduation, Kendall plans to teach in Norman for a semester prior to moving to Colorado, where she will teach choir. Kendall? family, friends, and colleagues, we wish good health, good cheer, great happiness, and a bright future to our graduates and to all of you. Thank you all for sharing this remarkable occasion with us. Happy Holidays.